Let's take a quick look at the new File Upload feature for Google Forms. Let's begin by creating a new form from right here in Google Drive. We'll tap on the blue New button and select More and Google Forms. And this will create a new form for us. I'll begin by giving this form a title by tapping up here in the left corner. We'll call it Video Upload. We can add some description or instructions if we'd like, but I'm just going to jump right in. Let's imagine we want to create this form so that students can turn in a video that they created to us. So I'll start with the first question by including student name. Notice Google Forms is smart enough to change the question type from multiple choice to short answer when it recognized that I'm asking for a name. I'm going to make this a required question so that students can't skip it. And now I'm ready to add the file upload option. I'll add a new question with the plus button and from the drop-down menu I'll select File Upload. Google Forms always gives a little warning that the files uploaded through this form are going to end up right in your Google Drive and therefore you should make sure you trust the people who you're sharing this form with so that nobody uploads any malicious or unnecessarily large files to your drive. Once you're okay with that, tap on Continue. Here we have a few options to deal with. We'll begin by typing in the prompt. Please upload your videos here. Now you'll notice I have some choices, including how many files do I want to allow the respondent to upload, 1, 5, or 10 files, and how big can those files be, anywhere from 1 megabyte all the way up to 10 gigabytes. I'm going to allow it to be 1 gigabyte, which is pretty large. I also have an option to allow different types of files. I can limit it to just documents or spreadsheets, audio or video, etc. I'm going to leave it allow all files at this point. I'm going to make this question required and I'm all set to go. All I need to do is share this form with my students, which I can do through Google Classroom or using a link or email, and allow them to fill out the form. Let's take a minute and see what it would look like from the respondent's perspective. So here's what the live form looks like. Let's fill it out. I'll begin by entering a student name. And now I can upload the file I'd like by tapping on the Add File button. You'll notice I have an option to upload a file that's saved right here on my computer. If I were on an iPad or an iPhone, I would be able to upload files directly from that device, including from my camera roll. I can also add files directly from my Google Drive. Let's go ahead and locate a video file in my Google Drive. Here's one. I'm going to select it and click Submit to send the file along. That's what it looks like from the respondent's perspective. But how is the person who created the form going to go about getting these files now that they've been submitted? Well, let's go back into the editor and take a look. Here, we'll notice on the top of the screen we have a tab that says Responses. This is where all of the form responses are going to go. So I notice I have one response. It's the one I just submitted. I can see the response to the name question, as well as a link to the file that was uploaded from that individual. You'll notice it also says that I can view the folder where all of these files have been stored. And that's because when you create a form with a file upload option, Google is going to create a folder in your Google Drive where all of the uploaded files are going to be stored. Let's see what that looks like. Notice it's bringing me back to my Google Drive and here's that one video that was uploaded. And you'll notice it's been put in this brand new folder that was created directly by the form. I can see it in my drive. Here's that folder. There is one other way to view the responses to a form and that would be by using a spreadsheet. You have an option to have all the responses to your form dumped into a Google spreadsheet which you can view all at one time. And you can do this by clicking on the small green icon here and selecting to create a new destination for your responses. And this is what that spreadsheet will look like. You'll notice I have an automatic timestamp for every moment that a form was submitted, and then the responses to the two questions, including the student name and this link, which will take me directly to that file. And here it is. And this is how file uploads work in Google Forms. 
It's a great tool to use in the classroom. Hope you find it helpful.